Hey guys, so here we are at the old E-Tank again, and uh, just got done putting in a new power supply. Got her fired up finally, it's kind of been down. My old power unit went down uh, probably late fall, and um, I don't know if you guys who have E-Tanks go through a lot of battery chargers, but when you are running them non-stop and you have those battery chargers on there day after day, week after week, month after month, running non-stop, they eventually just burn up because they don't have fans in them and they're not made to be on forever like that and they just burn up. So I was wondering what, what can I use that, that's made more for this? And I do know they sell some bigger battery chargers that have like uh, built-in cooling fans and things, but remember, you have to find a manual battery charger not an automatic battery charger and manual battery chargers are getting harder to find so um one of my cast iron buddies uh gosh a couple years ago said you need a power supply and he hooked me up with one and it had been working great for years and it finally got to where it was kind of uh i might have to stick something in there and give the cooling fan a little extra help to get her going when i'd first turn it on and uh, I'd sprayed some uh, electrical cleaner and different things in it, but I guess just over time of just nonstop usage, it was getting where I had a little bit of corrosive, uh, corroded wires and stuff. But um, one time the power went out here, and when it came back on, nobody helped kick the little fan and get her going. So she just burnt up. We don't work, wouldn't work anymore. So I got a new power supply. And um, thankfully, my son just came over and helped me figure out all the wires because the deal was, is if you get one of these um, power supplies, you have to do a little work as far as wiring goes to get them to work um, for your e-tank. But once you get it figured out, basically, it's pretty easy. All you got to figure out is what's the 12 volt positive and what's negative. There were a couple like 3 volt and 5 volt. We don't want those. All we want is the 12 volts. All wired together, positive, all the negatives wired together. And uh, so let me show you what we got going on. So here is the power supply I went with. It was a 750 watt. And um, like I said, we just had to kind of go through the wires. And we're no, I'm no, <laughs> we do not claim to be electricians. And I'm just showing you how I did mine. Not necessarily, you know, what is the best way to do it. But we have all our 12 volt positives going here, which is going to my uh, cable that hooks to my stainless steel washer drum in here. And then all my negatives going to here, which the hook is with the cast iron hanging on it. So uh, we just had to um, kind of get a meter out and test the wires and get all that straightened out but this is this is the way to go because you've got a cooling fan going in here uh i kind of have her strapped down so i don't want any accidents to happen where it's going to fall off and fall in my tank but um i run these just pretty much non-stop i just keep them going and refill the water as it evaporates and i just kind of always have my e-tank in motion because i have a lot of cast iron needs clean the particular one that i bought i just got it on amazon uh, I just typed in 750 watt power supply and this was like one of the most uh, recommended ones they had I think it was like 65 bucks or something and that's that's uh, probably in the long run cheaper than buying battery chargers to be honest now let me see I, ha I have my old one in here and I, and I tried to find I tried to find this same one but I couldn't find it they must so this is what I did have and it was a, um, I believe it says it was a seven. Yeah, this one was a 700 watt, and the one I bought was 750 watt. Um, but this is the one that kind of quit working on me. But like I said, it gave years of service before it finally went out. And so hopefully I can get the same out of this one for that price. It's a good deal. But uh, I just wanted to put that out there that if, you're having a hard time finding man, manual battery chargers or you wanted a different option. The only thing is, you, you know, you just don't have the, the easiness of the clamps 
which is super quick. So, but once you've figured out what wires are what, and you get them wired up, I mean, you're done. Don't don't take all that long. Also, I wanted to show you as far as the wiring goes. You see, I've got this clump of wires that come out, and then once you figure out which all ones you're going to put to your positive, you put a in on that, and then. This other big group was all the negatives, and it had a big wire nut, a big wire nut on it. So, the, as you can see, I use the same wire nut here, but the negative is the wire nut. Negative goes to this. Positive. There's the new little fitting on there, and uh, that just hooks to your sacrificial metal. So. And like I said, we've got a lot of cast iron that needs cleaning. Cornbread pans and skillets and lots of different skillets in here. And got some uh, lots of Dutch ovens over here that all need cleaned up. So I have a lot of work to do to get all this stuff cleaned up and ready to go. Even got a little collection of these uh, carbon steel skillets. Been picking them up every once in a while. They're they're really pretty cheap, and uh, I kind of like them. They're light. They're a lot lighter weight, so a lot of people like to uh, use those because they're not so heavy. It'll cook. Just need a little little practice with them. And once you get one seasoned up good and cook with the right temperature, it works just as good. So I thought uh, maybe this would help somebody as far as the powering of your e-tank goes. So there you go, guys. A few more e-tank tips uh, for your cast iron. Hopefully this will help somebody out. And it doesn't have to be cast iron. You could hang a crescent wrench from that thing if you had one that need cleaned up tools. Anything metal, you can hang in an e-tank and clean it. Um, I just like to use it for cast iron because it seems like the best way to clean your cast iron as far as carbon and rust um, does the best job. So that's just another helpful uh, tips and tricks to get your e-tank set up. Uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it'll help somebody out. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see if I can uh, help you out. Thanks.